fast when he needs to be and a cunning strategist, Ishkafel the Darkseer requires no edged weapons to vanquish his enemies, relying instead on the strength of his powerful mind. His talent lies in his ability to maneuver the fight to his advantage. Hailing from a place he calls the land behind the wall, Darkseer remains an outsider, a warrior from a realm beyond the veil of this reality. Follow my plans, and no one can stop us. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of our Card Spotlight series. Today we will be talking about Ishkafel, the Darkseer. A master tactician and the embodiment of brain over brawn, there's plenty to talk about, so let's get straight into it. Once a great general among his people and a valiant defender of the god king Damathrix, Darkseer's army was wiped out by a much larger force in the final days of the Great Boundaries War. Facing certain defeat, he made one last desperate act, leading the enemy forces in the maze between the walls. At the last moment, just before capture, he crossed over and sealed the walls forever in an explosive release of dark energy. When the dust settled, he saw that he had saved his people, but found himself blinking at the sun of a different world, with no way to return. Now he is committed to proving his worth as a military strategist, and vows to show that he is the greatest tactician that this strange new world has ever seen. No one outfights the Bronze Legion. Your war is futile, Tristan. I would be better suited to lead the Bronze Legion. A common green hero, Darkseer has 5 attack and 9 health. He is tied for the highest attack amongst all the green heroes. The 9 health gives you a little bit more sustainability when facing cards like Legion Commander and Bristleback. This is important since you need Darkseer to survive in the early game so you can get the most out of his active. Darkseer has not seen much play in Constructed since the release. His green counterparts, Drow Ranger, Treant Protector, Omni Knight, and Lycan have outshone him. Post Drow Ranger nerf, many have been looking for alternative heroes to fill the slot. Gust is no longer the staple it once was, so many of the green heroes can finally get their chance. The green heroes mentioned before have been tested out in different variations of Red Green Ramp, but generally Darkseer has remained absent. However recently, Swim put Darkseer in his deck and has seen success with it. So much so that he brought the hero in his Red Green Ramp build for the Wii Play tournament. In fact, including Swim's, Darkseer was in 3 out of the 32 decks present. I define the battlefield. Darkseer's active ability, Surge, reads, move another ally to another lane, on a cooldown of 2. This is in tandem to Darkseer's Surge ability in Dota 2 that provides a burst of movement speed to a friendly unit. Darkseer is a master tactician, and this ability exemplifies that. His active does not generate any board presence on its own, and it'll be up to you to generate value out of it. While getting a hero out of a dire situation is the more common use, try to focus on landing it in a location that will further you in that lane, turning your mitigation play into an attack a two for one. Mobility between lanes is a valuable asset, proven by Blink Dagger's prevalence in many archetypes, so it's obvious why this ability is handy on a hero. Swim puts Darkseer on round two to be able to cast green four mana cards, but his active will be usable the turn after, as having a superficial Blink Dagger ready on turn three without having to pay gold for it is extremely powerful. Since you can only have three Blink Daggers in your item deck anyways, Darkseer can help provide further mobility to the other two heroes that do not have one equipped. Late game, Darkseer can provide flexibility in the form of allowing you to alternate between Blink Dagger and Surge, as they both have a cooldown of 2. One turn, you could use Blink Dagger to move Axe into Darkseer's lane and pressure there, and on the same turn or the next, you can move it out with Surge into a different lane. This can sometimes enable something insane, like casting Time of Triumph in all three lanes in the same turn. Surge can be used with creeps. While the situations where that needs to happen are limited, I guess if you really need that Emissary of the Quorum to buff creatures in a different lane, Surge can actually let you accomplish that. Moving around a Thunderhine Alpha to a lane where it'll deal damage, or Roseleaf Druid to get some additional mana can prove fruitful, and gets around the need for green heroes in that lane. Darkseer's signature card, Ion Shell, modifies a unit with plus 3 Retaliate for 4 mana. Another ability derived from Dota 2 with the same name. In Dota, Ion Shell similarly surrounds a unit with a bristling shield that damages enemy units in an area around it. For a signature card, Ion Shell is not a powerful spell, but it does have its uses. Thankfully, it is not restricted to having to be played on a hero of a specific color. Buffing both Treant Protector or Axe can help them kill more units that they couldn't before. Giving Ion Shell to Legion Commander could be especially good, since this will result in her having plus 5 Retaliate, killing any creep that curves into her swiftly. Ion Shell is fine, but it's nothing to write home about, and it's certainly the worst part of Darkseer's kit. A thug knows only how to swing a sword. He gives no thought to the consequences. This predictable behavior is easily exploited. Draw Ranger's nerf has finally given the opportunity for some other underutilized heroes to get their chance. 
While Darkseer is a good example of a hero held back by a signature, he is nevertheless a utility that wants to be played in any deck that values repositioning, which is many. He's been seeing more and more play recently, and we recommend you try him out in your red-green ramp. Let us know what you think of Darkseer, sleeper hero, or just too weak. If you enjoyed this, subscribe for more card spotlights. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.